Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. In the previous tutorial, we tried to make a slider. Um, some of uh, some of the visitors had posted um, some improvements in the slider. I'm really thankful to those people. And um, yeah, and uh, one of my friend who posted um, a comment, I uh, wanted Ajax tutorial. So in this uh, tutorial, we'll be um, seeing a simple Ajax page, um, Ajax uh, based. Um, jQuery thing so we'll just um, start off with the basic the really the basic things so you don't even need a WAM server um, this is a WAM server I'm not gonna use a WAM server instead I've created a new folder and two files one is index.html and the other one is ajax.html so I'll open this index.html in notepad++ um, it's nothing but a blank page so I'll start uh, from scratch HTML then close HTML tags. Then I'll just open um, head, and then close head. Then body. Then again body. Close body. Okay. Now inside head, I need to include script. So uh, I can include script by. Okay. I'll just go to W3 Schools. Google.com. I mean w3 schools and then and then I'll type in uh, jQuery and there I can get something like um, introduction and I have all the syntax of uh, now this is a really good site um, I learned my basic lessons from this particular website um, so this is what I need yep go back to my uh, the notepad plus plus and then paste it over here now instead of including jquery uh, in your own server it is always better to use this because google api google provides um, jquery for us and one of the major advantage of using this kind of uh, 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 jquery is that when large number of people use the same thing uh, google will cache this and it becomes easy for people i mean i mean these things load very fast when compared to the server if you if you try to load the jquery file from your server it might it, it might take a bit too bit larger time but this is much faster than our server so i always recommend this and another important thing is that um, they keep on updating things right so so that is um, another important thing now um, we have included jquery java um, jquery library now uh, we'll just create a div div id equals um, say something like um, ajax test then I'll close that id and then div ok and then I'll open script type equal text uh, bar slash javascript and then I'll close it then I type in dollar document dot ready and then if the document is ready then do a function which has nothing no parameters passing to it and then the function is uh, yeah here is uh, the uh, here is where we need to write the function but just to make things clear I'll just alert um, something so that we understand that uh, the code till here is working properly so I'll go to run run it in Firefox now uh, Firefox is loading and I have an alex alert so this is working now the next thing that we need to do is include Ajax code jQuery Ajax code so before I just start off with jQuery Ajax code I'll just type in um, some very basic things like um, um, I'll type in um, what do I type in? Mm, I'll type in like say uh, hi um, I have a Jax I mean I have done a Jax using jQuery okay I've just um, typed this um, okay now uh, we are going to type in ajax code over here so um, i'll go to jquery 
uh, website a uh, jquery website and then here is the code that um, I commonly use okay now um, Now, uh, there are many ways to post uh, certain things, okay? Now, um, if you have a form over here, suppose you had a form, form action equals um, and method equals PST and then uh, form, close the form and uh, now if you are trying to post this form and if you are trying to post the values inside this form you would require a type variable over here now uh, before that i'll just um start from scratch so uh we type in dollar then we type in ajax to indicate that this is an ajax function and uh, inside the ajax function all these things are parameters passed to a particular page okay so that page has a url which is represented over here now we don't want this url instead we are going to call this particular page which is ajax.html so we are going to paste this over here ajax.html and then we are not going to post any kind of thing so we are just going to um, delete this and suppose if you want to pass um, a variable like this ajax.html and name is equal to john and location equal to boston um, to this particular page okay and you want to process that um, information in this page and give a certain um, result back to HTML page this page then you might have to send certain data so if you want to send data this is the way you do that now for the time being we are going to delete this because we are not going to send any data we are simply going to call this particular page and uh, we have a put uh, something written on this page which is um, hi I have done um, Ajax using jQuery so if if uh, if Ajax is successfully um, if properly uh, executed then we are going to get this message in here okay alert so we are going to alert the message okay now I'll just explain this one one more time because um, I kind of messed up so so basically what we are going to do is we are going to check first the document if the document is ready now if the document is ready call this particular function called um, Ajax and inside the Ajax function um, we are passing to a uh, one parameter and the only parameter that we are passing is um, the page that we want to call when we do an Ajax uh, function which means we are the main page that we are going to execute is index.html and we are going to call this particular page ajax.html from this index.html and we are going to have this particular thing rendered in html um, index.html okay so we are simply going to display this thing in index.html without refreshing the page so we'll just um, save the things and then we'll go to firefox then f run in firefox okay so hi I have done Ajax uh, using jQuery so I have the when I when I simply opened index.html what it did is even without opening um, Ajax.html it went to that page it took the data and just alerted to me on index.html okay so basically what this does is alerting it. so we are not going to alert this instead we are going to put this message inside this particular form which is um, okay we'll just delete the form over from here we are simply going to put this um, message inside this particular div okay so the thing that we are going to do is dollar okay since this is an id we put id i mean a hash and then ajax uh, um, test okay dot html and then we put in msg so what this line of code is execute is going to do is this line of code will fetch the data from this particular URL and if uh, if this particular execution of this particular URL was properly what's a success and if some message is passed from this particular URL then take that message inside okay go grab uh, this um, this particular um, div uh, with an ID of Ajax test and then put 
that message inside that id so what we are going to have is something like this so inside uh, this id we are going to have this message so we'll go back to firefox and refresh the page okay so here it is so this uh, might not look um you know like um we have a ha we have an idea over here uh if you go to if you press uh control and u so you get the source code and okay you don't have anything over here because this is a source code of the page index.html okay now this is the actual page that you see if you look over here in th the source code you don't have this particular um what do i say this particular text written over here but the actual page do does have it the reason why this is happening is that this particular ajax um function is going to ajax dot html that is um, this page and then taking this particular thing and then coming back and pasting it over here so in the actual um code this particular text won't be there so i hope um, i made things very clear so in the next tutorial we'll be um, dealing in little more bit little more into ajax we'll not be dealing about simple html things we'll be talking about um uh, about um a php uh, using ajax um, and then um passing data using ajax and then processing that data using php and then finally displaying something uh, back to the page um using php okay now um i think today is um full moon i mean what do i say luna eclipse um this is a google's home page really awesome now i just happened to, to open this um page source code and this is a source code okay so a bunch of code which is uh, oh my god so <laughs> i mean i just wanted to show you this um yeah thank you for watching this tutorial i um, hope you enjoyed this tutorial um yeah thank you bye